Now, the question is asked, first, Christian dating should not have sex. But then what activities can you have? First, you want to distinguish the different stages of dating. The first stage actually is not dating. It's discerning the person whether the person is suitable for, for uh, to be dating. Then, it can take a long time to find out if that person is God's choice. So that part should, you know, that in that part, then there should not be activity to increase the relationship. The reason is, once you raise the relationship, then you are attached to the person. We don't want to raise the attachment. If someone is interested in you, now, let me describe the situation. Like, someone is interested in you, a Christian, and you don't know, so you ask God, and then you observe the person. And you notice this person has some problem, also has some strength, you don't know. Then you will find out. Now if you see someone, that person really has many problems and he doesn't repent, then you know already, no way, we're not going to enter dating. Then you should stop it right away and tell the person. Or sometimes even people ask you, uh, are you interested to date or do you want to go somewhere with me? And you sense it's not right, then you just say, uh, thank you for asking, God bless you. Uh, but you can say, you know, I care about you, I want the best to happen to you, but I think uh, I don't want it. And I hope you accept me. So we can say that to the person. Okay, now, what if you see there are good things and bad things? Everyone has good things and bad things. Then you should ask God for guidance. And in that period of time, there should be only communication, and not dating to increase the relationship, but to know each other. There might still need, be some, need to be some activities. The best is to have activities in the church. Maybe talk after church, or before church, and uh, on the way to church, you see each other and talk and find out more. And observe the person, or ask the minister's opinion. The minister says, well, uh, this person has this weakness and have uh, that weakness and it has this strength and I pray for you and the minister says, uh, well I suggest maybe not for you. Then you say, okay, I listen to that advice. So you can find out. Now, but if the minister say, I'm not sure, maybe you can find out more. Then it's best to find out in the church because then your relationship will not be raised in a high level in a short time. My idea is, my suggestion is that when you raise up the relationship, the feeling, the romance in a fast pace, what happens is, then it's very hard to separate. Once you separate, it's painful. And also, you will hold on to the person no matter what. It's better to be slow and observe and find out if the person is suitable, and then after that, you slowly increase. Better to slowly raise the relationship. Actually, relationship can be raised to a, a high level in a very short time. Many people are afraid the relationship will not be raised. They always say, I want closer, I want closer relationship. Actually, the relationship can be raised very quickly, even one evening. When they go dating together, suddenly they, oh, they feel very good, and the next day they are like very close friends. Relationship can be raised very quickly. So don't just look for raising the relationship, but look for understanding each other. So I suggest it's better to be slow. And then what can you do? Then do it in a church, before and after church, uh, in youth gatherings, and, and then gradually maybe in activities outside, in public places. You know, going to a park, going to somewhere public, and then, uh, uh, but not to the home. Now, at one point, you'll be to the home with the parents present. <laughs> Even after they're committed, don't, you know, date in a home with no one present, because then you will have temptation. So with the parents present, to introduce the parents, eat together with the parents, to let the parents know about them. Uh, to find out whether that person, uh, 
how the person relates to your parents. Now, if the person cannot relate to your parents, you might say, well, my parents cannot accept the person, therefore reject the person. If this person cannot relate to your parents, then when you get married, it also will be a problem. So, so you can have activity like this. And then if the person really raised your high level, then you can have more activities to have fun and to have build up the relationship. When you already know that this person is suitable for you, is the person chosen by God, then you can uh, do more activities for fun, but still don't increase on the personal contact level, the, the body contact level. Just increase on the communication and doing things together. You can do projects together, you can reach out together, now, but, but most people don't think of dating and evangelism together. But that's how it will build up a good marriage. After marriage, you can do evangelism together, you can serve God together, you can pray together, you can read the Bible together, you can study the Bible together. Those are things that many people think are boring, but actually would increase the deeper relationship. If you cannot study the Bible together before marriage, after marriage it will be hard too. So it's so build up on these things that build up connection rather than just romance and and you know and uh, Bible study and praising God together and uh, learning something together you know there are all kinds of activities you know participate in some activities in the in the community together or the church together serve God together. Mm -hmm.